another episode of the Upshot Project. We are Hayden and Solen, and we have spent the last eight months in Canada doing different kind of sports. Hey, we're in LA. So two months ago, Sol actually got exempted to enter Australia, and it was one of the best days of our lives. <clears throat> A month later, we got on an empty flight to Sydney, and then spent the following two weeks in an intensive hotel quarantine. I was like, hey, we don't have a card, but I'm like, hey, we're not allowed to get it. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what we got up to, and hopefully we answer some of your questions when it comes to hotel quarantine. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to follow all of our adventures. Hmm. All right, so let's dive right into it. So for a start, once we arrived in the country, we didn't have any choice of which hotel we're going to stay in. Having said that, though, we did feel very lucky to be uh, locked up in hotel quarantine with the Sofitel Wentworth in Sydney because it's a five star hotel, which on any other day we would not be able to afford. <clears throat> However, with the hotel quarantine in New South Wales, it still costs us $4,000 for two people. Yeah. Not cheap. Not cheap. We felt even more lucky because we actually had two rooms with a bathroom. So basically on one side we had the bedroom with an ensuite bathroom and on the other side we had the living room with a workspace. Moving on to the stay itself, we actually got PCR tested for COVID on days 2, 7 and 12 and we even got another one two days after our two week quarantine. Exactly. One of the most important things for me. <laughs> So the food was actually great. We didn't have a lot of bad meals except only for one. The freaking salad. <laughs> I'm pissed. Do you know why? Because it's seven o'clock. We haven't received our dinner yet and we had the tiniest salad for lunch. I'm not happy with the service. Thank you very much. Breakfast would alternate between hot and cold breakfast, which was a, a good, and for <laughs> a good, a good, and for lunch and dinner, we never had the same thing, which was great. But you can also get food delivered to the hotel, so as long as it's around the times that you would normally have meals, you can get the food delivered. And we were so lucky because we even had people send us like food deliveries. <sighs> Special thanks to Andrew and my mum. Thank you very much. When it comes to drinks, we didn't get anything that was free. We basically had a stack of water bottles at the beginning, but then we refilled them from the bathroom every single day. The only downside that we found at this hotel was definitely the laundry because it would cost us $40 for 10 items. That was insane. So naturally, because we're cheap people, we didn't use the laundry service. <laughs> <laughs> because anyway we packed enough clothes for our two week stay we got new sheets and towels and here's the footage of me explaining how it works if anyone was wondering if we would get new sheets during this 14 day quarantine the answer is yes so that way we feel very fresh but due to covid we need to put our dirty sheets into a plastic bag we need to seal it properly and then we put it back um, out the door of our hotel room and we do the same with towels so unlike what we've seen online in regards to what happens in hotel quarantine what we experienced in the new south wales one is that we were not allowed to leave the room whatsoever and because we're in a hotel our windows didn't even open we had no balcony and no fresh air so, so you might be wondering how on earth we stayed sane <laughs> So some of the things that we ended up doing were things like workout routines, puzzles, meditation. We even got a Nintendo Wii dropped off, which was amazing. Zumba. We had Zumba. <laughs> Zumba. Zumba. We even did like little spa days. Face is exactly the same. How's your spa day going? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> and the Olympics. The thing that was really exciting as well is that the hotel was organizing online bingos and trivia games, which we actually won... A few prizes for. A few prizes! Tell, tell, <laughs> tell me, what did we win? We won a couple of prizes, such as a bottle of wine, some bath products, Ooh. a $10 bar tab that we used the last day on two beers, yes. And the most exciting prize, in my opinion, was the humongous 
seafood platter. That was insane. That was great. That was fantastic. Here are some footage of us eating we don't have the, the seafood that. platter. <laughs> I feel so expensive. Look at the size of this monster. Hey, that's mine. Hey. We also celebrated Hayden's birthday in quarantine and the team was so nice that they cooked a special dinner for Hayden. So overall, I think our experience of hotel quarantine was quite good because we came in really well prepared. So if we had any suggestions for anyone going into hotel quarantine, it would be to have a basic routine for every single day, but also to try and do things that you've not had time to do previously. Thank you so much for your time and we hope that we helped you understand a little bit more what hotel quarantine is like in Australia. If you or someone that you know has done hotel quarantine or is about to do hotel quarantine, please share your experiences. We'd love to hear from you. We'll make sure to answer all of your questions. There's a dog. There is a dog. <laughs> Cheers everyone and don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. That was, that was good. That was, that was, I want to hit. I want to. Okay. I feel like my net worth has just increased threefold. <laughs> Everybody the sunshine. Sing that again because I'm not sure. Thank you. <laughs> so. <laughs> Please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. We. It's gonna be great chatting about it. <laughs> Seriously, if you got fruit or booze lying around, that'd be great if you could send it this way. Please saying something. I don't remember what I said. <laughs> Day six of how to go through a hotel quarantine. What on <laughs> earth did you say? The day six of going through a day six of going through a hotel quarantine. It's, it, it's a B, not a D. Huh? It's a B. Day ba six. Day six. Day six, I said. Yes, I know. So what? What, what is day six? Day six. It's our sixth day. Oh, right, because I'm sitting here like basics of going through hotel quarantine. No. Basic routine. <laughs> I'm going to stop right there.